Wait, are we? I have to end this section though. Game day inside the office of Malik Jones. Malik is the head coach at Martin Luther King, where dreams remain big. The reality of the pandemic, though, is no joke. It, it was as bad as it could be uh, with having, you know, not having any hope for the future. And then we, you know, the season was kind of sprung on us last minute and we tried to be as prepared as possible, but there's no way to prepare for football other than playing football. As Coach Malik makes his way to the stadium, his opponents also arrive. Newman Garetti's coach, Albie Crosby, speaks to the pain of the pandemic. These young people have gone through the adversity of being able to play, to not to play, to watching their friends pass away in the streets. It's been a lot of adversity that we've gone through, losing loved ones because of COVID, um, just the unknown. There is no locker room access for either team. Players must dress outside. A small price to pay for the joy of playing football again. It gives them a sense of normalcy. And I think that was very important because a lot of them began to give up with scary thoughts of, is this the end of, of, of life as we know it? Are we ever going to play football again? How crazy is this year? Now we back. Albie is this year's Eagles finalist for the Don Shula Award, a national honor given to the high school coach that exemplifies leadership and integrity. My players are phenomenal. Um, but one of the things that I'm overly amazed about is, especially when you look at the inner city of Philadelphia, the parent involvement, having great parents that can kind of help you along the way when you can make a phone call and, and they answer. Malik was also a nominee for the award, and Veronica Johnson, the grandmother of King lineman Zion Dees, sums up the vital role these coaches played during COVID. He will keep them out this street, and he's so humble with it. He's coming out of his pocket. They weren't being paid, and what he's done, as well as the other coaches, are unbelievable. I got a question. Now, would you run through a wall for me? Yes, sir. We need the rock. Go get the ball for me. Yes, sir. I call Red. You play the flat for me. Yes, sir. They try to run a backers. Garetti took control at the outset taking the opening kickoff for a touchdown. Extra point! Extra point! But King kept fighting. This touchdown made it a two-point game at the break. His team's slow start gave Coach Albie a chance to share another life lesson with his youngsters. In life, that's how life works. When there's an opportunity for you, if you don't take advantage of it, Terry, eyes on me. If you don't take advantage of it and that opportunity goes by you, then you sit back and you have regret and something like, damn, I didn't take advantage of that opportunity. Garetti did take every opportunity from there, controlling the game in the second half and walking away with a win. But when it was over, handshakes, pictures, and a final goodbye from a proud head coach. I love you, young boy, seriously. You. Then one final team rally. Cougars on three, family on six. One, two, three, four, four five, six. Jacqueline London, NBC 10 News.